This module has the ADS1115 4 channel 16 bit analog to digital converter. It can do four single ended inputs or two differential inputs per module, and it communicates over the I2C bus. Although it only has one address configuration pin, the datasheet says you can control up to four of these on one bus by connecting that address pin either to ground, VCC, or the I2C serial clock or serial data pin. So the hex address can be 48, 49, 4A, or 4B, depending where you connect that one address pin. So I wanted to try a test setup. I have an Arduino Uno, and when I plug it in, it's going to give 5 volts and ground to these modules for power. Then I have the I2C serial clock and data cascading to every module. And then each module has its address pin connected either to ground, 5 volts, serial data, or serial clock. So I can use a sketch, and based on the address I'm using, I can read in 16 single-ended inputs. So I wanted to test that functionality, and also while I'm doing that, I wanted to use the Arduino to measure the time it takes to do a reading for a single input, as well as 4, 8, 12, or all 16 in a row, just so I'll know if I want to read a bunch of inputs, I'll have an idea how long it takes and if that would suit my application. So with one of the modules removed, the power and ground pins on each module are going to the power pins on the bus. In this final module, the address pin on the module is connecting over to serial clock for address 4B. And then the four single-ended inputs, each module I set up differently. So this one, we will be measuring 5 volts, ground, ground, and then 5 volts. And with each one having a different pattern of 5 volts and ground on the inputs, I can verify in the serial monitor that I'm actually reading the module that I should be. So for this other module, the address is connected to serial data for an address of 4A, and the four analog inputs in this case are ground, ground, 5 volts, 5 volts, so they all have a different pattern. And for these other two, the analog inputs here are 5 volts, 5 volts, ground, ground, and this one they alternate 5 volts, ground, 5 volts, ground. So in the serial monitor, when I ran this, starting from left and going to the right, we have analog 0 through analog 15. So the readings of 5 volts and ground matched the pattern that I was expecting. And in the sketch, after I read in all of these individual inputs, I then started a microsecond timer and went and read just the one input and then check the time again to see how long it takes, including Arduino code overhead, basically using the Adafruit library to go read a single input with that one statement in the sketch, how long did it take, and then similarly in groups of adding four at a time, how long does it take if we're doing it within a typical Arduino sketch with the extra clock cycles it'll need to do all of those functions. And reading one channel took a total of nine milliseconds. Reading four channels one after the next and then stopping the timer took 36 milliseconds. So four times how long it takes to read just one. And it scaled up equally. So reading eight channels took 72 milliseconds. 12 channels took 108 milliseconds. And 16 channels took 144 milliseconds. So the timing makes sense, whether we're reading one or all 16 channels, it takes 9 milliseconds per channel. If I wanted to make that faster, I could use some other method that doesn't include all of the Arduino overhead, but now I know I can get 16 channels across four modules with just one address pin available, and I can work this into some future projects that need a lot of analog inputs.